What's up guys, it is Domino here and I am bringing you a video on how to install a hard drive to your desktop slash computer. Now let me just make this clear, this is not for a laptop. If you think that this is for a laptop then you're an idiot and I'm pretty much going to jump straight into this because the footage has already started. The equipment you're going to probably need for this is two screwdrivers, a big one and a small one. Now I'm not very good with screwdrivers so that's just what I'm going to say. But one's a magnetic one for fetching screws in case you drop them into the case. You're going to need a SATA cable for connecting the hard drive. This is like the signal cable, which will pass data from your hard drive to your motherboard. And it's a short one because I've stole mine from my disk drive because mine hasn't actually arrived yet. Because my hard drive ever actually arrived for it before it. And this is the hard drive. And you want to be very careful for static when you remove the hard drive from the box because if you want to fry it then yeah you, you want to be really careful with it now I'm just going to point out that if you don't you're not into computers and anything like that then please leave now because I know you're just going to leave negativity and hate and I know some people will not like that mainly me um, so yeah anyway um, you just like leave it on top of the foam just to avoid wasting your money on the hard drive and it they, I got it from Amazon in two days which is good so I recommend you order it off Amazon this is a second terabyte because I'm upgrading from the first terabyte which um, right, well I'm pretty much doing it just for YouTube these are this is going to be used to store YouTube videos on it because uh, if you you don't you actually like upload videos, you probably won't know that YouTube videos do take up a lot of space, and unless you delete them, which is what I've been doing recently, it takes up a lot of space. So you're better to have a second hard drive so you don't clog up your main hard drive. Anyway, let's just box, get rid of that. Now, one of the most important things before you start fiddling around with things in your computer is to turn it off at the back. Well, turn it off, make sure it's not on first. Turn it off at the back and unplug it, which is a good way to start because if you're fiddling around with something that's plugged into a power supply, you can very easily either ruin the equipment you're using or even electrocute yourself. Now, the next thing that I've speeded up because it's not that important to watch anyway. Now, this will just depend on your computer but you want to like take apart all the side panels, front panels, everything so that you can access the hard drive bay. Now, it might not yours might not even be as complicated as this. I know a lot of them you don't even have to unscrew anything to take them off. They just slide straight off, but mine's a little bit more like I have to unplug the fan which isn't too hard. Anyway, so you're going to want to take off the side panels and then take off the front panels if your computer has front panels. I know quite a lot of um, computers don't actually have front panels. Yeah, I think I'm right there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm unscrewing a fan as well so that I can actually see into the hard drive bay. I can do it without, but it's just easier if I um, take away the fan so that I can get better access. Um, oh, and if you haven't figured out, PC gaming is where I get my gameplay from most of the time. Um, I might get an EasyCap or possibly even an, El an Elgato to record PlayStation um, in the future, but PC is the simplest and one of the best ways of gaming at the moment, in my opinion. So, yeah. And now you need to... Um, take off the other side panel so that you can gain access to the um, the other side basically when you when they secure the manufacturers when they secure the um, hard drive bay they screw it in from the other side now I think oh <laughs> yeah that, that's the problem when I'm doing stuff to my PC anyway um yeah so you take off this side and you can access the screws from there and that means that that's pretty much you say that you can access and slide out the hard drive bay. That's pretty simple, really. Um, not too hard there. 
although it takes me quite a long time to um, just uh, get the camera right on those screws so we can like yeah yeah use now I have been kind of stupid in this review by using the magnetical screwdriver and I'm really surprised that I did that because I could have screwed up my computer now I think probably the main reason it's just easier than using my pen knife screwdriver because it like obviously it's wide and s like smaller so it's quite hard to get in certain places but I when I when I can I do try to use this because it's just it's easier um, and also there's less chance of me um, screwing up my computer so that's always a positive <laughs> okay so n now I've removed these well they're pretty much easy to remove they're just like you twist them I I'm not sure if all computers have these but these are pretty easy I think it's just I don't know speed things up a little bit they added those in which is a nice feature instead of having to unscrew them which is obviously time consuming takes a while just chuck those over there anyway now the c as you can see the cable management in the computer is pretty good but I can tell you it won't be in a minute I'm just trying to see if I can slide it out and there we go I have slided it out I didn't really show that because it was quite awkward it was a lot of um, sliding and twisting and it was, it was just awkward even though I've got a bipod it was still um, a little bit awkward to get out so while holding the camera because I don't always like to use the bipod but anyway so there you can see my one terabyte hard drive already my SATA hard drive SATA's the new the newest connection there is an older connection as well but you want to make sure that you get the same connection as your um, hard drive on your computer at the moment unless you're building a um, computer in which case this really isn't the video for you but um, yeah you should um, so I start kind of savaging this package and trying to get it open <laughs> with a knife. I don't recommend you try this because this I could have um, damaged the hard drive getting into it like that but I was obviously I was recording so I didn't want to I could see my battery slowly running out so I was hurrying up but anyway so once you've removed it from the anti-static pl plastic stuff then it's pretty much ready to go so that you can see the one terabyte hard drive which is pretty much the same as the one I've got in already it's slightly different, only slightly though, and I don't think it really matters what brand it is either, but I went for the same brand just in case. Now, you can, I mean this, it depends on your hard drive bay, you can slide it in below, below or above, I think you can fit a maximum of three in, and obviously you could have more than one hard drive bay, it depends on your case really. But yeah, I, you have to slide it like slightly further, it depends what, also you, when you're buying a hard drive you need to be careful of which size you buy, There's, these are 3.5, but you can get bigger and smaller. And if you get in an SSD solid state drive, then you will need like a um, frame to put in. So they're all smaller and thinner. But anyway. Now here's, you have to screw the hard drive into place. Now I did use the magnetic screwdriver for this, but it was kind of impossible to do without. So I did it anyway. Anyway, so I'm just going to secure this into place. And then it will be ready to go back into the um, case. Um... Also, I mean, if you guys um, subscribe to me for the Battlefield gameplay, or Minecraft maybe, then, yep, there'll definitely be some of that coming on the way, um, now that I've got my new hard drive especially. I have had exams over the past um, week, so it's been quite hard to make any videos because I've been busy revising and all that, and I'm sure a lot of people my age have had exams English literature. Yeah, so, anyway, I've secured that in place, so... Now, pretty much all I've got to do is slide it back in, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And you also be careful when you put it back in not to trap any cables like I almost did. Because if you trap cables, you might tear them or something, so you want to be careful when you're doing that. And also, kind of makes me mine double difficult, because I've got this fan that's like attached through the thing. And I, yeah, I could have wired it out, but it took a while, and it would have been hard to get back in. So, I just kind of left it. I scraped it right across my desk, luckily it didn't do any damage. But anyway, yeah that was pretty... Well that was lucky that it didn't scrape my table. Because right, this table's quite new, so... Yeah. Anyway. Right. Now... I'm just going to put that back into position. Putting that back into position there. 
And yeah, this was about five minutes later after I messed around with the hard drive place and realized that the power cables wouldn't stretch. I mean, wouldn't like reach my se the second hard drive. So I had to untangle them all and because they'd already been like managed quite nicely. And I cut my finger as well doing that. So that wasn't really that successful. <laughs> but um, yeah, I did figure it out eventually. And here's me putting the um, SATA cable into the hard drive. I think. No, actually, I'm attaching it to the motherboard first. Yep. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am actually commenting over this. I'm not, like, recording, because clearly the audio is too clear for me to be, um, you know, a camera. And, yeah, it's a little bit fidgety. <coughs> um, getting it into the um, hard drive, because you have to get it the right way up, and sometimes the hard drives have reverse um, sockets. So it's a little bit harder. And I think I already did have the power in. Because when I was sorting all out, I think I put them. But I mean, you guys should know how to put power in. And anyway, this is when I finished. Got the fans running, turned it on. Obviously, I still haven't put the case door on or anything. So you can't see all those blue LEDs. But anyway, I'm just installing the driver. I'd set everything up, sort of. Yeah. Um, and there you go. That is it two terabytes you can see it take up a little bit of space but that's it thank you guys for watching and i hope this helped you and i will see you next time